Uh, and then for if you do want to set the uh, root version to update authentication uh, for password protection, first make sure you advertise only your directly connected networks. Um, oh, that's actually that actually needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, that's from another slide. Right here below, though, um, you know, router A. You uh, first you can set up. You can do it a couple different ways. Like a keychain allows you to set up a number of passwords um, in case you want to be able to flow through them. Uh, instead of having to like constantly manually update lots of passwords on different routers. So to, to first set up the keychain uh, configuration is key space chain space whatever you're gonna name the keychain in this case I'm just naming it my keychain. That'll jump you into uh, keychain configuration mode that actually needs to one of these dashes removed. Um, and then your your key number so in this case it'll be key one and that'll jump you into keychain key configuration mode. You can see by the uh, the difference in the uh, the prompt. And then it's just key dash string space, and then whatever you want that password to be. So in this case, it's just chain password one with uh, alternating upper and lowercase letters. If you wanted to just uh, if you want to add a second key to that keychain, just type in exit once to get back to config dash keychain. Um, type in key space two and then the, the key string for key space two and you can continue that to add as many keys as you need to on the keychain. I, I know there's a limit on that but I can't remember the number um, I want to say it was 15 but I may be wrong uh, as far as numbers of keys you can have on a single keychain um, then once you've done when you're done with that part you've got your your keychain set up and your key string set up um, exit completely out of there and get into, get into regular config mode enter in the the interface that you're um, you're setting up RIP authentication on. So in this case, uh, serial 000, and then uh, from sub configuration mode uh, or interface configuration mode, um, the command is IP space RIP space authentication space key dash chain space, and then the name of your keychain. In this case, we we named it of course my keychain, um, and then also. Uh, IP space RIP space authentication space mode space MD5. That's actually an optional command. It um, it, it adds some encryption as that stuff goes across the line. That way your your keys are not handed out in plain text. They're uh, they use MD5 uh, to um, encrypt those basically so that when the individual keys are exchanged, they're not going across in plain text. And then uh, RIP verification and troubleshooting. Um, these are going to be probably your main commands you'll need to use. Show IP route, uh, as we said before, it's going to show you the whole routing table. If you need to look at a particular uh, network, it'll be show space IP space route and then the the IP address. Uh, show IP protocols, and then uh, if you really get in the down and dirty um, and you need it, you're trying to get ripped to work and it's not working for some reason, the debug space IP space rip uh, command is helpful. That's going to turn on the debug for rip so that you can see, you know, line by line as stuff passes. Keep in mind on all debug commands, um, they're usually very processor intensive, so you should only leave them on while you're testing that. Make sure you turn off um, your debug commands after you're done with the undebug all or undebug and then whatever your your particular debug command is. And that is it on uh, distance vector routing protocols and RIP. Uh, there's a lot more uh, that goes with RIP version 1, RIP version 2, whenever you go CCMP. But that's about all you really need to know for um, for the CCNA. They're not going to have, I mean, they'll have some stuff that obviously has routing uh, problems in it, and like some of the simulations, but it's, it's not too terribly complex hardcore. So any questions on that? And is there a reason to use version 1 over version 2? Um, I mean, it's not really like I think for for the most part, RIP version two is going to be preferred. Um, I was thinking they had even had a version three, but I don't know the specifications on it. But um, not really. Like it, it it's better. It's um, you obviously got enhanced security that you can use with it, and specifically being able to have variable length subnet masks so you can break some of that I th up. I think is probably the biggest benefit of uh, version two. Um, I don't know of any anywhere that any I remember huge. that. Yeah, like you're probably not gonna have to use RIP version one unless you're looking at like someone's old network that they're gonna update like on all or our the stuff. Or devices don't actually support. Yeah. Two. yeah. On a lot of our stuff, it's it's version two. So. Anything else?